So when you look at the 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 trend in um, American democracy, it's not good. The young ones, the under thirties, who don't have any news that is trustworthy, providing them with any. I, I promise you, they they didn't hear anything Kamal said about housing. I, I promise you, they didn't hear anything to do with uh, elder care and her plan for elder care. They didn't hear anything. Uh, about building uh, 3 million new housing units to bring down the price of housing. No, what they heard was Joe Rogan's podcast and other podcasts like it. That's where they get their info and their feels, as they call them. And then their news comes from Twitter and their news comes from TikTok. And that is what led them to vote for a felon who was twice impeached isn't sentenced yet, but will be at his sentencing hearing next week in New York, uh, who obviously has no plan for anything except promises mass deportations. Now, knowing that, when you look deep, deep down into the under 30s, who were the big flippers? Who were the big flippers? Who were the people that flipped their vote from Biden uh, to Trump? The young ones, who were they? They were Latinos. They were young Latinos, mostly men. And I guess they like the uh, whole macho thing. I guess that's it. Uh, Because, you know, uh, that's who uh, switched. That's who uh, changed their uh, voting habits from Democratic to Republican. Don't have time to listen to the live show? Want to hear more on your schedule? Go to randyroads.com and buy a stinking podcast.